Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make a charcoal water filter. I gathered up a bunch of charcoal from some dead fires around here. This container here is full of it. I also gathered a bunch of pine needles and I chopped them up finely. This container here is full of it. I got two trash bottles. This one conveniently fits inside this one, but that's not necessary, but it will be helpful. So first, we're going to drill a hole in the lid of this bottle with our knife. Do this carefully, don't stab yourself. Just about like that, nothing special. But a lot of times these lids have a piece of rubber inside of it. This one does not, so we don't have to worry about it. But if it does have a piece of rubber inside of it, take it out. Now I'm gonna cut the bottom of this bottle off. And I'm gonna drop a bundle of pine needles down in there. And I'm gonna shove it down in there into that lid. And that's just gonna stop the charcoal from getting into your water. That's its only purpose. And it adds flavor. So now we have to fill this up with charcoal. This charcoal is not processed yet, so we have to grind it up. So let's grind it. Charcoal is a pretty amazing substance. It clings to toxins like a magnet. An ounce of charcoal covers about an uh, acre of surface area. So you can filter hundreds of gallons of water in this filter before you need to change the charcoal. Now we're just filling this bottle up with charcoal. I'll put a couple layers of pine in there to mix it up a little bit, but the charcoal is what does the, does the magic. Pine is actually also a uh, disinfectant and it will help clean the water, but it won't help clean it so much just by passing through it. It really needs to soak in the pine to, to help, but it will add a little flavor. All right, what I've done here is I put a layer of charcoal, a layer of pine needles, another layer of charcoal, and another layer of pine needles. This filter is ready. All we gotta do now is go get some water. Notice that I have a different container for collecting water than the container that I'm gonna use to gather it. If I use the same container to collect the water that I'm pouring the filtered water into, I just recontaminate it with the bottle. So we're using a different bottle to collect the water than the bottle that we're running the filtered water into. So I'm gonna go get some water and I'll show you how this works. Okay, I gathered some water from the creek over here. Notice it's kind of a pale color. That's not necessarily bad, but watch what color it comes as it goes through this. First, it's gonna be like a grayish black color because that'll be the charcoal. But once that runs through once, we can run water through here again and it'll run through clear. It's a slow process. If your filter filters fast, then you've done something wrong and you're not cleaning your water. The slower it goes, the, the cleaner your water is getting. And it'll start off fast at first, but as the dust of the charcoal fills all the little gaps, it'll slow down. Notice we're getting a steady drip here. Okay, it looks like the gray water has stopped dripping and the water is now dripping clear. So what I'm gonna do is pour this blackish gray water out and start filtering again. And that's just for taste, really. Now this is gonna take a while to filter, probably about an hour before this bottle's full. So we'll come back and show you when it's finished. Okay, our filter's done filtering. We got us a nice container. Notice the water is clear, not cloudy anymore. This is still dripping a little bit. This water is good, this water is clean. The filter has gotten rid of any pollutants that have been in there. Uh, it's probably filtered out any Giardia, if not all of it, at least most of it, enough that you won't get sick from it. It's definitely filtered out heavy metals, uh, mercury, lead, things like that. This water is good to drink.